South Dakota, the Mount Rushmore state. No, really, that's, that's the state nickname. Just a month, South Dakotans will be voting on Measure 27, deciding whether or not to support adult use cannabis legalization and the prohibitionist pitchforks are out. Protecting South Dakota kids is the best option the opposition has, and no, not the action of actually protecting South Dakota kids. Grassroots prohibitionist organization by the same damn name. Presenting what they believe to be a panoply of negative results they believe legalization would usher in. James Kenyon, Ed Moses, and Christy Cricket <laughs> Palmer. <laughs> Last Thursday at Aberdeen Sacred Heart Catholic Church did not disappoint. Moses bypassed salutations and got down to business right off the rip, drawing from the greatest hits catalog of debunked statistics. Legalization increases teen consumption. All data proves otherwise. <laughs> Legalization results in higher rates of cream vomiting than states have been reporting. <laughs> he actually said cream vomiting, which is yeah, cream vomiting. And uh, cannabis causes negative effects on brain functioning caused by long-term use, which is not reversible. There's no claims or any connections to that, that quote. He just threw that out there. So, you know, big ups to Moses. Children are not protected with this. It can cause a permanent drop in intelligence and interferes with the exchange of information between neurons. I am 27 campaign manager told American News that while the passage of measures would make Make recreational cannabis legal. It's up to the states to create laws governing sales and deregulate the industry. Which is right, brother. Local officials have the prohibitionist backs. Two Sioux Falls officials insisted that cannabis legalization promotes crime and violence. Mayor Paul Tanakin disagreed that state prisons are full of people with cannabis convictions, contending that crime would not drop if marijuana was legal, but rather the opposite, noted that the black market is flourishing even in places where cannabis is legal. How can you compete against someone who says, I'm going to bypass the laws, I'm going to bypass the permits, I'm going to bypass all the other things and just grow illegally? I don't have to pay your taxes, insisting that communities are not seeing any benefit from cannabis sales. Any revenue realized is used to deal with the unintended consequences, treatment issues, crime issues, and that are all part of legalization. We cannot have that here. And <laughs> I have five uh, states that have a ballot initiative either going to be decriminalized or legalized this coming election. And you're going to have a lot of these people out. Affecting people's uh, intelligence. Ed, the guy that looks like air traffic control is actually Actually, air Minsa. traffic control. Um, he's he's a certified genius, and he's been smoking weed as long as he's been an adult. Center bottom of our screen proves that wrong. I may or may not allegedly have been stoned when I was taking my Mensa entrance exam. So that was all part of higher learning then, right, Ed? It, it was. And then I actually just to show you some data in regards to the money that the state of Colorado has been giving to the school system specifically. So if you look right here, it's actually really impressive. School capital construction has gotten millions of dollars, 89, 40, 40. Early literacy programs, 5 million. School health professional grants, 11 million. School bullying prevention grants, 211. Dropout program prevention, 222. So this is this isn't pennies. This is like real money going to real schools. All that shit that he said is just complete bullshit and straight reefer madness. Yeah. My yeah. other Go concern my, is how people can be screaming what up the children and actually host an event inside of a Catholic church. Ooh. 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 I was raised, I can Me speak too. about the Catholic church. Me too. And, yeah. with, and I was an altar boy three to four days a week. What well, about the children, Ed? Did it, yeah, did it I leave like me to altered? tell people, I went to, it left me altered. So are you saying you got altered at the altar? I you left, got, I walked get away from religion. Boy. I, I, I didn't even like, at the I didn't altar. even, every what time, what time what somebody strong, says, what about the children? What about the children? Not to sound too Republican here, but what about the fucking parents? I mean, come on, where are like the values, taking care of you, and making sure your kids aren't doing what they're not supposed to do? I'm yeah. so sick of us having to protect the children. Why don't you get some damn parents to actually parent their children?